Welcome to this screencast. We're looking at the properties of digital images and how they influence the quality of um, the final image you're creating for your coursework. Let's start with a definition from the course book. And this is how you reference uh, something that you pick up from a book. Photographic image quality settings, there are two main ones that will affect the quality of your final of your image. That's the pixel dimension and the file format. File format, file format is something that you have researched already. And when you research your file format, you just uh, uh, listed how many different types of file format exist for, um, for digital images. But now you're going to have to look into what characteristics of the file formats are going to affect the quality of the image. Now, how do you demonstrate a thorough understanding of these elements that you're researching? Um, start same as what you do in your English literacy humanities uh, lessons when you are writing. Uh, a big piece of text. You start with a definition and then you move up to higher level thinking skills like analyzing and then evaluating. So explain what they are. You've searched on the internet what the file format is for an image suitable to be used online. Explain what they are. And then you can give some pros and cons. And then when you start to go into what's an advantage and what's a disadvantage, you're going up in terms of thinking skills. So that's going to re be reflected in your grade. And eventually, if you can make a choice, make a judgment, should you be using this file format in the context of this project, then this is again a high level thinking skills. And if you do this very well, there's no reason why you are not demonstrating a thorough understanding. The next characteristic is pixel dimension. And to introduce this one, I'd like to make you think back to high quality TV screens. Now you're all aware that if you pay more money and you buy a better quality TV, the image it shows will be better. And this is reflected in high definition screens, 4K and now even 8K screens. And each one is showing a better image because each one shows more pixels. Now, you know this, and it's the same principle that will apply as you are creating an image instead of just showing it on a TV screen. But this time, you need to think in terms of the image you're starting from needs to have as many pixels as the screen you're going to show it on. So, if you don't do that. If you use a high definition, a really high quality screen to show a not so good image, it's not going to look good because a high definition screen will be able to show every imperfection of the image. And we'll talk about that a bit later with pixelation. If you're taking the picture yourself, now you know to check how many pixels, how many megapixels nowadays a digital camera has got. You already know that if you're using uh, the latest version, the latest uh, smartphone, it's got a bigger camera, it's got more pixels, the resulting image will be better. You know this stuff already. So apply it to your coursework. If you are downloading some assets into your coursework, make sure that the number of pixels, the resolution that these assets has, is high enough so it doesn't degrade the quality of a final image. Pixelation, this is what it looks like. Here we've got a low resolution images. What this means here is 72. Um, here it says dot per inch. That's how resolution is, is uh, that's the unit of resolution when you are printing. It's the dot made by the printers. When you come across PP high, pixel per inch, that's the unit used when you're um, counting how many pixels on a screen, on a, like this one for this uh, screencast, or on the sensors itself. But essentially, it's how many little individual dots of colors you've got 
making up the picture. And this one over there is a high resolution. And consequently, even though both of the images are the same flower, this looks really good. That one doesn't. And that's the kind of effect you're trying to avoid as you're creating your image. Difference between size and resolution. So uh, this time I've referenced a website and here it is over there. And you can look into uh, what's going on here. So what we want is a good a high quality image like this one. As you zoom in, the more you zoom in, the more you're going to start to see the individual pixels. And that's not what we want um, in, the, in our project. So make sure no, not to zoom in, to, not to enlarge an asset too much so that it doesn't look good anymore. Right, I hope you will find this useful in this time of confinement where we cannot practice this all uh, at the same time in the, in the classroom. And I look forward to seeing your work.